Okay, I'm John from Oxidation Technologies, and today I want to show how a WT home water treatment system would be put together. Um, your system is going to be sent in multiple boxes, and you'll have uh, these various components uh, in the box. And I'd like to go through each of them and uh, actually just show how this would be put together to assist in putting them together at home. Um, so just to call your attention to this diagram, this diagram would also come uh, with your system, but it gives you an overview. Uh, this here is your existing pressure tank uh, with the raw water from a well. Uh, this could be used you know, in other situations too where you've got uh, water uh, pumping from a, uh, another source. Uh, the heart of this system here is this contact tank. That's this tank right here. Uh, your water is coming into that contact tank and uh, we've got an injection pump that is pulling some of that water uh, before it comes into the contact tank, running it through a venturi to suck ozone in. And that ozonated water then is mixed with your uh, raw water before it continues on. Uh, this would be suitable for removing bacteria and odor and things from the water. Uh, if we have iron and manganese, uh, then we're going to need uh, a backwash filter, and I'll cover that in, in another video. Uh, the ozone is generated uh, with this ozone generator. Uh, I'll show you that on the table. Uh, the air dryer supplies dry air to the ozone generator before it's pulled then into the venturi. We have a balanced barometer. Uh, to ensure that water wouldn't get past your check valve. If it does get past the check valve, and it begins to flow uh, up toward the ozone generator, it'll drop down into this balanced barometer, um, and this will fill up and overflow, uh, indicating that you've got a leaky check valve. So let me show you how this would be put together and I'll reference the diagram. This is your contact tank and uh, we'll start with the, the bottom of it. Now the bottom, uh, you have a, a, a head on here with uh, two holes. One of them says out and this is actually going to be your ozone water in and one of them has in stamped onto the plastic, and that's going to be your treated water coming out. Those are those, the in and the out down here. So your system will come with uh, components to make this uh, as easy as possible to, to hook up. Uh, this first one here is a T, and it says the ozone water in. So we're going to be threading that into the ozone where it says the ozone water in. These are one inch normal pipe thread and uh, you'd want to have tape and uh, glue on that, or not glue but uh, putty to seal that. The one on the other side is labeled uh, treated water out. And we've got that label on the bottom, treated water out. So this, uh, it's called a mat sun head, the in out head. I'll show you what that looks like inside the tank. Okay, and we'll have these plugs facing downward. Um, these plugs can be used to drain the system and also some options for other types of hookups that we can discuss later. So inside, uh, this bottom fitting has a dip tube, just like this one for the top. Uh, it's glued in the bottom so it won't come loose. Um, the next step here, I'm gonna throw this in the top. Uh, 
should be a little bit of uh, uh, grease on there so that it <clears throat> that doesn't bind. It'll seal good. There's a rubber opening in there. You just need to get this uh, hand tight. It doesn't have to be super tight. The stainless steel piping right here is for the off gas vent. And this is where any undissolved ozone is going to vent off the top. If that's not there, uh, then this tank will gradually fill up with uh, the feed gas, uh, ozone, and so on. Uh, and then it's not going to work. So it needs to vent off. This off gas vent, you can see inside there, it's got a little float. Uh, when that when this fills up with gas, the float drops down and re releases it. So normally there's going to be some water in there. You don't need uh, tape or anything on here. There's a rubber gasket that seals. Uh, this part actually will, will turn in there. Uh, there's a little bit of a space that you can get a pliers on. Um, but you don't want to over tighten that uh, just enough so that it gets a good seal against that uh, light on O-ring. And uh, your excess ozone gas will then vent out of this here. Uh, typically, in a lot of systems, you don't get very much ozone. Uh, if you've got uh, material that you're acting with the water, um, you get a little bit of ozone. If this is in a really confined space, it might become a problem. Uh, but it's easily vented, uh, most easily, right to your uh, plumbing air stack, and it'll just uh, vent some of the ozone gas outside. So the other port here, the untreated water in, it's a one inch female thread. Uh, that's what you're going to use then for uh, your water coming in. So let me set this down here. So the next step then, your pump is going to come you know, pre-wired with a 120 volt cord. Uh, this can be wired for 220 volt uh, if you have that. Uh, and that's going to come with a reducer on the front from one and a quarter to one inch. And this is a one inch out on the top here. And the Venturi assembly is going to thread into the top of your pump. And this can be adjusted slightly to be easier to turn in. I don't want to do that tight. Uh, stainless has a habit of binding if you don't have good uh, tape on there. All right, so then now this union here is uh, needs to connect up with, with uh, it needs to be put in different. Uh, it's going to work best if this is at an angle That's at an angle. Let's see if I can show you better, like this. And uh, well, the closer it gets, uh, you can get it so that it's going to line up. Uh, you want to make sure so the Viton seal is in there. You're going to have a lot of ozone in this water. This has to be CPVC uh, uh, plastic to hold up. It has to be a Viton O ring or it's going to leak after the ozone reacts with it. Okay, so once that's hooked together, what we're left with is uh, this water inlet. And uh, this particular setup here, we're going to be taking some water right at the point where it goes, the raw water comes into the top of the tank. So when you're plumbing it, um, you know, however it works best in your system, you're going to need a T at some point. For this plumbing, the recommendation is to use one inch pipe. Um, PEX is okay. Um, the only part that's seeing a lot of ozone in this, normally ozone is going to react with uh, copper and so on, but uh, the goal is to have most of your reaction taking place in here so that your treated water coming out has very little ozone um, and most of the water coming in uh, does not have ozone. So your water will come in the top here. Uh, you'll want a T coming down to supply your pump uh, 
with water. And this pump is basically going to be uh, putting the water in a circle. Um, normally, it's not going to run when you're not using water. Uh, we've got a, a flow sensor on there that will activate this pump uh, when there's demand for water. But when that demand stops, the pump will run for a little while uh, to add an extra you know, build up the, the levels of oxidation in this tank uh, for the next use of, of water. Um, after it's been treated with ozone, um, if you don't have a lot of iron, you have just bacteria, an optional carbon filter, uh, and then this is where you hook up your, uh, your flow sensor and totalizer. Let's back this up. Okay, so the other components uh, are going to be the balance barometer. Um, this balance barometer gets filled up with, with some water into this water trap. And the idea is the Venturi <clears throat> is creating a suction when the pump is running. So that's going to pull ozone from your, your ozone generator. So if we have some water in here, uh, it'll lift the, the water just a little bit, but it uh, provides an air trap um, so that it's, it can pull ozone through when it's, when it's working. But if it stops and water comes back in, that water will level out. And if water leaks past your check valves, it'll simply dribble into this uh, water trap, and gradually fill it up uh, and overflow. Um, that's the point where you know you're going to need some repairs on your check valves. So if this system, there is a check valve that's built into this Venturi. Uh, this cap will come off. Uh, there is also an option to thread a stainless steel check valve on here. Uh, for home systems, uh, this here is a very light check valve and you can get the most uh, flow with this existing one and it's the simplest but there are other options and uh, this is Kainar tubing. Uh, it's the only tubing that's really suitable for ozone. We probably need to heat this up with uh, a, a torch uh, or a, a heat gun and that'll slide right over this bar and connect up to the, the uh, uh, what this is wrong. This should be coming in the top and this check this coming in the in the side. Uh, that should be labeled on here. Barometer, the ozone generator. The VNUS4 ozone generator. Uh, it shows, gives you a digital display of the ozone flow. Um, down here, there's a 10 position switch for the power of the ozone. So your ozone. Two ports on the bottom, there's uh, little fittings that you can thread into the bottom to hook that up. The other component is the air dryer, and there's a, a dry air indicator in here. Uh, that's pink when your air is not fully dry, it turns blue. Uh, after this is running for a time, it may take a few hours. Uh, it basically, it's heating up desiccant, and when your system pulls, air through it, pulls air into the machine, uh, through desiccant, dryer, and the dry air flowing through will turn that blue. Uh, the ozone dry air gets pulled through, adds ozone, the ozone gets injected into your system. Uh, we do have a little check valve uh, that can be placed in this line. Uh, then you have two check valves. Uh, this is a fairly light uh, track pressure and it's compatible with ozone, easy to, to change out and put in this tube. Uh, not 100% necessary uh, since you have this balance barometer, but it is nice to have two check valves in the event that this one would fail. This here is a flow totalizer. It's just got a little vein in there that's measuring your flow, or, uh, your water totalizer. That's going to be installed at your output there. 
and it'll send a signal to the controller. Uh, controller is going to be a part of uh, this totalizer, and this is it's going to display how fast you're using water. And after you use some water, this will turn on your water pump. So your water pump will be plugged into here. The ozone generator is plugged in here. Uh, there's two outlets that are switched on and off with this uh, when, with your water demand. And there's two outlets that can be used uh, for auxiliary things. Uh, your air dryer should be plugged in all the time. This here is the cord that plugs in into this little sensor. And this is going to turn your system on and off with your water demand. So that's an overview then of you know, the basic uh, hookup of this system. Uh, in, in the next video, I'm going to give some direction on using the uh, backwashable filter that would be used if you've got a lot of iron, manganese, and so on in your water. Thank you.